Hey guys, how are you doing today? Today, I want to do something really risky and I might regret it later, but I want to try anyways. So, as you can see, the rainbow has all but faded out of my hair. There's, I mean, you can still see little hints of purple and green and blue. Um, you can still see quite a bit of yellow on this side. A little bit of orange, a little bit of red. Not a lot of color left, right? But if you notice back here and this stuff back here, see how these ends, like right about up to here, is still pretty light and kind of green, but up here it looks more like my natural blonde. That's because this part down here is super damaged. Super damaged. Like when I dyed my hair black a couple years ago for Halloween, it was a color that was supposed to last 12 to 16 weeks. It did not. Not only did it not wash out like most of the colors I do that say that they're only supposed to last that long, um, I used several stripping treatments, a lot of home remedy stripping treatments are supposed to help, nothing worked. So we ended up bleaching it, but the, the exact reason I never wanted to bleach my hair happened. It fried the ends of my hair really bad. And I've been working on growing it out. I've cut it off a little bit here, a little bit there, but I'm really getting tired of having this dry damaged stuff down at the end of my hair. It just feels gross. It doesn't look as bad as it probably could, but it feels gross. Like when I wash it and dry it. So what I really want to do, I mean, I cut layers in my hair all the time. That's not hard. doesn't matter if it's short, long, whatever. What I really want is an A-line again though because I feel like if I cut it shorter in the back, I can get rid of pretty much all of the super damaged stuff and A-line it to not cut anything off the front. I don't know if I can pull off an A-line myself in my bathroom, um, but we're gonna see what happens. But the first thing I have to do, because I let this air dry it and it's wonky as all hell, I have to straighten it. And if you noticed when I did it, I really went for stick, stick straight. Like it's not curled under, it's not flipped out because if you're trying to make a semi straight line, you want it stick straight or at least as straight as you can get it. So it is, boy, that yellow really is still bold right there, isn't it? But see, that's part of that damaged hair as well. And you also have to figure I'm naturally blonde. So of course yellow is going to show really well on natural blonde hair because that's already its base tone. Well, I'm kind of a beige blonde. See the roots up here? This is straight up natural hair right here. That light beigey blonde. 
the rest, any color you see is definitely artificial. All right. I, like I said, I don't know about this. This is going to be hard. Um, this is my natural part. If you notice, I just, my part, my hair knows how to part itself. Basically, uh, when I get out of the shower, that's exactly what I do. I, I brush it straight back. I push it forward a little bit and then I just kind of let it fall where it goes. And my hair was mostly straight because I was kind of running my fingers through it as it air dried. I'm trying to figure out exactly how to approach this because I need to get straight across the back, but as thick as your hair is, anybody's hair is, especially mine, you don't want to just hack. You got to do it in layers. That's going to be difficult. I also think I'm going to need more than just the one hair clip pulling my hair out because it's how you go, how you do. You have to section. <laughs> trying to open up my hair cutting case without knocking over my tripod or my or my brush to the floor you know because that would be bad put this cat back up here one benefit I do have is as you can tell there's a mirror behind me but the other thing is that the medicine cabinet up here the two sides completely move so as I'm doing my hair, and this also helps a lot when I'm dyeing it, is that I can adjust the sides a little bit so I can see behind me in that mirror a lot better than most people would be able to see in their own mirror in their bathrooms. So there is that. So what I'm gonna do is section my hair and I'm gonna leave, well, we're gonna do front of the ear over here first. We're just gonna get totally out of the hair, out of the way at the moment. I will have to drop some of that back down in a minute. Not what I was trying to do. I will have to drop some of it back down for the angle, but for right now, we're just getting this out of the way. Same with this side. We just wanna go look down, straight down to the ear. Ouch, I caught my earring. And section that. Now I've seen I don't know how I feel about it, but I've seen people online where they will take their hair ouch, and they'll pull it down to where they want and they'll put a rubber band down here and they just cut across the end of it, like to cut off all of their hair. And I'm like, I don't know if it's the old hairdresser in me or what, but I just can't bring myself to do that. I cut my own hair all the time. This is not a new thing. I've just never tried an A-line on my own head before because that is a very precise look. And it's not easy to get a straight line in the back of your own head despite having good mirrors because you're still working backwards. Like one hair got loose and it's hanging in my eye. You're trying to do backwards and that is not an easy thing to do. So I'm going to go from right about here on my ears straight across the back and all of the middle of this I'm going to pull up out of the way because I just have too much hair. There's, there's no way I'm going to get anything straight if I don't separate this. I could probably even do that into two sections, one on each side, but I'm not. So, all right. So here we go. This is how long it is at the moment. Can I see that? Yep, I can see it in the frame. That's how long it is in the back right now. But I want it to be more like here in the middle of the back. My arm gets in the way. I get my arm up there and then it's in the way of seeing what's going on. So I think I need to go back to the multiple mirror option. I was gonna try to let you guys see that first cut. Oh, you know what? Maybe I still can. Ha ha ha. I'll just turn you that way. So now you're looking at the mirror behind me. And I'm looking down also because usually with an alien, that's the smartest. Oh, I regret this one. I, I just, I can't decide if I want, okay. First of all, I know these two parts need to be part of the angling. And it's just this middle needs to be cut off. Okay. I'm going about as far as I can see what I'm doing. But after, I'm going to regret this. But there it goes. Oh, I missed one piece. Really? I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, neither can you. You can't see what I'm doing either. All right, do you see it? Do you see it in the, back, in the back right there? Where I cut a chunk? How does that chunk look? I'm trying to see where it fell on the floor so you can see how long it just cut. So, that was a good 
good sized chunk of hair. Let's see. It's about three and a half inches. Three and a half, four inches. Just hit the floor behind me. See, now here's where it's going to be difficult. I'm going to have to get it from that up to the front evenly. So this is where I'm taking down just a little bit of this right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it to the side. I'm going to look to the side until we use my mirrors here. And what you have to do is go from that short down to the long in a good line. So it's going to be a more, more severe line than I can even angle myself. This is going to be interesting. Oh, stop. This piece of hair just does not want to stay up, does it? My hair is very fine and therefore very slippery. I guess the best thing would be to just, I'm used to using my hand as a guide, my fingers as a guide. I'm also afraid of accidentally cutting my shirt because it's there. All right, I'm gonna, Ooh. I'm gonna freak out. That's what I'm gonna do. This whole time, every time I go to cut, I'm gonna probably freak out a little bit. Maybe a black shirt wasn't the smartest when you're cutting hair. Well, at least I'll know where it's at. Okay, maybe that's the ticket. Maybe if I can comb it left-handed. Use the comb to hold it still. It's really hard to aim your scissors. Also take into consideration the fact that I wear glasses uh, to see up close. <laughs> They're clearly not on my head right now because I would not be able to do this. Oh God, there's a big fat mess right there. All right. Oh, I keep thinking that if I could just get this first line good then I can go from there actually that's not horrible it's not horrible it really isn't ain't perfect I don't know how it could be worse it's funny I watch Brad Mount Mondo all the time reacting to people doing stupid things like this in their home bathrooms and here I am doing something stupid in my own home bath bathroom you know it's not I don't think it's perfect, but I think it could be worse. How's that for an answer? Uh, it could be a lot worse. And I'm not. Hmm. The worst case scenario, you know what I'll do? I'll just chop it all off because I, I can do that. I wouldn't be the first or the last time that I randomly cut off inches of my hair in this bathroom. And there were over other bathrooms of houses I've lived at before. The hard thing is, like I said, I want that angle. I want. This is hard because I'm trying to do the, my dominant side and you can't really see. I can't, it's just hard. Ugh. Everything is hard when you're trying to do it on yourself. I'm not sure if that side worked out better or worse than the other. I have to figure out the fronts. So, oh yeah, you know, everyone really smart. <laughs> Actually, take down a piece of the side. I forgot. Oh God! I'm going to screw myself up. I did just drop the hair clip on the floor, though. You know what? I have more to retrieve it later. I forgot to pull the front of my hair down. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, you forget how much you rely on your glasses to do things until they're not on your face. I mean, it, I'm not completely blind. Don't get me. Don't freak out here. I'm not that blind. I'm just blind enough. I see when I realized I didn't have that down was when I went to measure. Okay, the two fronts are still the same length. That's good. We, we like that. That's important. Um, I don't think I did as good of a job on this side, though. Getting that angle. Oh, sure, sure, sure did not. Probably because I was, I forgot to cut, to bring down some of my hair in the front. The 
it's really truly see what I should do is I should have my hand my hair completely like this as I'm cutting but obviously I can't do that and still see what I'm doing so I don't know how well this is turning out like is it bad in the back what did I do like do I have any kind of shape to the back it looks like hell. That's what it looks like. Okay, it looks like hell. That, that's what I'm gonna say. Look at it. Like, there is definitely a long spot right there that I cannot manage. The hard part is that usually when you you come you know you bring your fingers down with it, but if you turn it like I have to to see what I'm doing. It can change the ankle. I shouldn't be talking with a comb in my mouth. That probably isn't making this any easier. But usually, when you're on somebody else's hair, of course, you bring it down. You would basically, you would comb it with your fingers, and your fingers would fold it down to the end of the counterweight, and then you cut. But you can't do that on your own hair because your arms literally are not long enough for that shit. Literally, not one. And it's not cooperating. All right. Told you this might be a bad idea.
Okay. As you probably noticed, at some point I went back in and went, eh, it's not short enough. And yes, I do still need to get a little bit of length off of this top layer. Um, but I'm, I'm going to do something now that's going to help with the fact that I'm sure that line is not 100% straight. I'm going to, the last part, I'm going to do a, a little layering on the very end here. And so what I'm going to do is pull it out like this. And when the first layers fall down, they go straight up. Okay, so doing the layering took way longer than I thought, and I was totally rambling, and you guys probably don't want to hear all that. So I sped it up, and here's the reason why I did the layering. I did the layering for two reasons. One reason is it's really, really hard to get good straight lines on yourself in the back of your own head. The layering hides that a little bit, and it gives you a less heavy line at the bottom when you do have it straightened. The, um, it also gives a little volume to the ends of your hair, having that little bit of layering. The other reason is that my hair is naturally wavy, like beach wavy, and I very, very, very rarely actually dry my hair straight. Most of the time, I let the natural waves do their thing. Like, I don't even put curl cream in them or anything. I just let them dry in their natural wavy state, and that little bit of layering down at the bottom helps those curls a little bit with kind of fluffing up at the bottom, or waves in my case. So there you go. And like I said, I really rambled here. So I'm sparing you having to listen to all of that. <laughs>
have hair in my mouth. I have hair everywhere at this point. I think I'm going to go back for under though. Okay. I had to go back in and fix the little choppy spots and I did do a little bit better job flat ironing it. So curled under slightly. Here's the back. Well, there's how the front looks. I already showed you the back. So it didn't turn out exactly as I expected. No, the back is about what I wanted. It, it might've been able to be slightly shorter. Um, I really wish I'd been able to keep the front a little bit longer than it is, but I think that that is less of a, something I screwed up on than it is of, I forgot my hair was layered. <laughs> if you noticed when I straightened my hair at the beginning of the video, um, it was longer in the back and it angled up some, um, because I usually have my hair layered when it's not in a straight bob cut by somebody else because it's really fucking hard to do on yourself, which I proved today. I could not do it. I couldn't get a straight, perfect bob, but it does look cute. And if I needed to, the fronts are still long enough. I can get them in a little ponytail back here to keep my hair out of my face. And that's all that really matters to me that, and any time that I can keep myself from having to go out into public and hope I don't get exposed to COVID. I'm good with that because I am at risk. I have severe asthma and yeah, of all things I could suck at, I suck at breathing. Good job, Donica. I mean, it's hereditary. What, what do you do? Right. Um, but I am trying to limit my risk as much as I can. Uh, we've been working at home since March and I'm fine with that. I don't have a problem with that. I've gone to the store a few times. Of course, you got to get essentials. We have gotten food out a couple of times, mostly, you know, DoorDash, pizza delivery, maybe pick up some food, but I, we've really minimized our risk, uh, and our exposure. I haven't visited family hardly at all. I've seen my grandma a couple of times, but that was mostly during the summer when we could be out in her garden and stay distanced because I don't want her to get sick. Even if I've been exposed and don't know about it. Um, we really have been trying to stay safe. So that's the biggest takeaway for me is that, I'm happy with the way it turned out and I didn't have to go to a salon. Isn't that all that really matters? <laughs> and I also thought it'd be funny to put uh, the scissors hair clip in my hair because I just chapped it all off. So let me know what you think. Do you think it turned out cute? I don't know why I've got a weird curly spot right there that didn't want to curl under either. Um, now I just need to get some color oops and try to get the rest of this rainbow color out. Cause you know, even though it looks like I did manage to get all the damage off by the way. And that was one of my biggest thing, biggest, uh, goals was to get rid of the rest of that damaged hair. I'll be able to tell better when I actually wash it because that's when I can usually feel how bad it is. It feels like I got it all. It looks like I got it all. I think I finally got rid of the last of the remnants of dyeing my hair black, which I will never do again, by the way. Um, it looked great. I'm not, not going to lie. I really liked it. It just, the Arctic Fox, which is the brand I usually use for some reason, their black doesn't stay in my hair very long, like literally like two, three weeks tops. And most of their colors stay in four to eight weeks, sometimes 12 or longer. But the brand I used instead of Arctic Fox, yeah, it was not okay. And the attempting to bleach it out was an, a second bad idea. And those are the two worst things I've ever done to my hair. And I'm not going there again. Um, but the question is what color should it be next? The two colors I have the most left over from doing the rainbow hair is orange and green. I do not want orange and green hair. Maybe if it was still October, orange and green hair would be okay, but that, no, I'm not doing orange and green. But the question is, should I get some red and have it fade orange into red, like do the top orange and transition into the red at the bottom, or should I do green into blue? Let me know down in the comments what you think would be a cute combo for the next time I color my hair because although I don't mind my lovely blonde hair, I get bored with it and it will be colored again probably in the next few weeks. Bye guys.